a school year's worth of, you know, concentrated, consistent effort can just be completely transformative. Hello, and welcome to the Arts of Language podcast with Andrew Poudoua, founder of the Institute for Excellence in Writing, or as many like to say, IEW. My name is Julie Walker, and I'm honored to serve Andrew and IEW as the Chief Marketing Officer. Our goal is to equip teachers and teaching parents with methods and materials which will aid them in training their students to become confident and competent communicators and thinkers. So, Andrew, what kind of letters do you get in the mail these days? You know, like a physical letter. Like snail mail. Snail mail, yes. Yeah. I get a few, mostly bills. Mm -hmm. I don't think that counts as letters. Oh, okay. You're talking about correspondence. Exactly. Well, I get um, mostly personal letters are from kids. Oh, oh. Yeah. And they usually write things like, Dear Mr. Pudua. I hate, hate, hate your writing program. No, I, I did get one, mm-hmm. but I won that kid over. Well, okay, hold on a minute because we did a blog post on that. That's right, we did, and we can note to that. Yeah, she was a sweetie. She just did not like the, the way that it was being done by whoever was teaching her. Mm-hmm. But I sent her a few jokes. I explained things and mm-hmm. said, hey, if I'm in Michigan, I'll buy you a Frappuccino or something. <laughs> Uh, But mostly I would say I get letters. uh, I don't know why children are inspired to write to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe their moms suggest it. Mm -hmm. But it's usually, you know, I like your writing program. Your jokes are good. And um, please write back to me if you can. I wanted to meet you at a convention this year, Mm -hmm. but no conventions this year. No conventions this year. And, of course, most of the kids who write to me are very careful to underline their dress-ups. Nice. (laughs) um, And sometimes go as far as putting the sentence opener numbers in the margin, and very occasionally even a topic clincher, keywords being highlighted. Mm -hmm. But um, it's cute. I'd say the average age is, you know, 9 to 12, Mm -hmm. somewhere in that zone. Uh, But occasionally, you know, I'll get a very serious letter from a teenager who wanted to let me know how helpful the courses had been, he he or she, you know, entered this essay competition or applied to this school and felt that what they had learned from our course was, you know, mm-hmm. tremendously helpful, if not essential to their success. So I don't know that, but it's always good to receive that kind of thing. Well, sometimes I do have the privilege of sorting through the IEW mail, which is actually really fun. And I did notice the other day that there was a big fat envelope from Dr. Webster that was addressed to you. Oh, yes. I do get mail from him. Uh, Usually, um, well, if I send him anything, he marks it up violently (laughs) and then sends it back, letting Mm -hmm. me know everything that uh, should be better. Uh, But he's been on a poetry kick Mm. for a couple years now. So he writes poems about various things, Mm -hmm. travels, memories, Mm -hmm dog, stories Mm -hmm. that he rewrites into poetry. And, um, you know, he he keeps his mind incredibly active. Right. He's 92 years old. 92. Mm. And, man, if I could write poetry like that now, I'd be happy, (laughs) but let alone, you know, at 90 years old. Mm Mm-hmm. So, you know, that that's interesting. He he doesn't do typing very mm. well. Mm-hmm. So his email is somewhat terse mm-hmm. and sometimes convoluted. <laughs> uh, but he'll he'll write a three-page letter mm-hmm. on paper mm-hmm. and send it to me along with photocopies of many poems and Aww. other things. He's mm-hmm. dredged up mm-hmm. newspaper articles about how we're so messed up here in the United States, things like that. (laughs) Because he's from Canada. He's from Canada. Yes, yes. And we love our Canadian neighbors. And so glad to have that correspondence, at least from our most notable Canadian. (laughs) So I, I wonder if today's letters that we get here at IEW, 
I mean, they come from a variety of channels, whether they be snail mailed. We get, I I don't want to say tons, because how do you measure virtual mail? It's not, we get a lot of emails uh, just asking questions. Where do I start? Tell me what's, how you teach spelling. But we also get a lot of great compliments from our families who have appreciated the work that we do here at IEW. And so that's really the nature of this podcast is just to to share the love and yeah, to same. thank our to thank our our friends for emailing or writing snail mail. And then there's another category of correspondence that we get and that is through social media. So maybe our Facebook account, maybe Instagram, maybe these families or teachers are telling their friends about IEW, which, you know, they tag us in it so we get to see it, which is really fun. So let's just share a few of those comments and letters from our listeners. Okay. Okay. So what have you got there? Well, I have one that I received from Megan. Megan is actually a teacher in an alternative education program in California. And This was one of those times, like nowadays, where we are so swamped in customer service that they're either just letting people wait on hold for a long time or just looking around to see who can take calls. And sometimes that someone is me. (laughs) Which uh, So this is a call that I took, and this teacher just needed some help of how to adapt our ancient history-based writing lesson program for a 16-year-old student who had special needs. Mm -hmm. So ancient history-based is a level A material, which means the reading level is, you know, grades three to five. And so this student was about that reading level, but needed to go through it more quickly. And so I just looked at the syllabus and came up with a 20-week schedule and said, hey, try this out. And so she said, I've been using the modified schedule of HW with my 16-year-old student. It was a perfect place to start. I just have to tell you how proud he is of himself to be able to write confidently. We just finished the Colossus of Rhodes lesson, and I asked him if he could see how much progress he has already made. He said, yeah, it's fun. And she says, it makes my job so rewarding to work with IEW and see my students become successful. And I, you know, what a great testimony. Thank you, Megan, for sharing that with us. It makes me think of the prison ministry right. and the letter that you got from one of the prison, the inmates that you had visited in Michigan those many months and ago. And we talked about that before, but the uh, the update is that some of those inmates mm-hmm. in the men's prison in Michigan have become... IEW registered instructors, right? and uh, the couple that was teaching there went off to do some other work for a while, and so they started teaching each other. They continued IEW and literature classes, Wow! and uh, I just thought, you know, what more can we hope for right. than the seeds planting and, uh, you know, seeds planted then bearing fruit, which are seeds that then bear fruit. Fruit. Yes, exactly. Well, and you have there a note from one of our teaching writing structure and sc- and style fellow adventurers, and she talks about how engaging that course is. So can you find that one yeah, and read that one? Yeah, let's see. She said, I am having a moment here. I started to watch TWSS, giving myself four to five weeks to finish it before I start to teach it to my kids. Well, it's been one week, and I'm almost done with the entire program. <laughs> wow. I can't put it down as I watch it. I keep on asking myself, why wasn't I taught to write this way? Mm -hmm. You know, I hear that so many times. Yeah. Why didn't I learn this when I was in school? Right. How helpful it would have been to do writing assignments in high school or college if only I had had just some of Mm -hmm. the structure and style tools. I'm feeling quite excited and, quote, armed to teach my boys. And incredibly, I'm also feeling confident that I can do this. And that, I think, is a very typical type yep. of comment, that I am well-equipped. Armed almost sounds like, you know, going into <laughs> battle. Well, if she's um, teaching boys, she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, uh, that view. Another Facebook comment, and, and this is the kind that, you know, like the one you just read, really touched me. She said, he, he or she said, I tutored a fifth-grade boy from the school last year with IEW. He could barely write 
two sentences、hmm. for a report. Nine months later, he won an award for his essay on an artist. He didn't even know it was entered in a competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the teacher slipped that his essay into a contest. Nice, <laughs> but you know that、uh, that transformation. It's not、mm-hmm. an overnight thing, but you know, you look at nine months,、mm-hmm. a school year's worth of you know concentrated, consistent effort、mm-hmm. can just be completely transformative. What I like about What you just read, Andrew, and actually the one before that too about that mom who's now armed, it reminds me of our goal. And I say this at the beginning of every podcast: our goal is to equip teachers and teaching parents with methods and materials which will aid them in training their students to become confident and competent communicators and thinkers. And I think of that mom; she's not just a competent and confident communicator and thinker; she's also a Communicator, thinker, and teacher. She's more confident to be able to teach. So I love that. So I have another one. Okay. This is another boy one, and maybe I'm just you know kind of biased toward boys because I did do the boy thing. You are yeah, boy, boy mom. mom here, I'm boy mom. So Heidi says, I love this program, and my three boys love this program. I've been using it for years, and my eldest. Who at the age of seven years old, when we first started, would cry when I asked him to write one sentence. Now, at the age of fourteen, has written paragraphs that our AP homeschool registration person says are much better than what he would have produced if he attended a traditional high school. Maybe not using this program. Thank you so much. So Heidi, wow, fourteen years old, and still writing well. I hope your battles at home are. Not as as rigorous as they are <laughs> for me when I had my son, because that was about the time I started IEW, and I started IEW because my oldest son and I would argue about what was good writing, and you solved that problem for us. So thank you for that. That you still argue with him? Well, just about other things. <laughs> well, actually, I've learned a lot from him over the years because you know he's a dad now and a great cook, and I just appreciate that. Well, we see、um, not only a lot of stories of. You know, reluctant writer boys, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I can count at least five, and there's probably more kids that I know who were high aptitude. Yes, but they got so motivated, and inspired, they ended up writing books. Oh, nice.、Mm-hmm. And we've interviewed、mm-hmm. a couple of them over you know over the years, and、uh, probably the books won't you know go down as great literature. Classics to be read fifty years from now, but to write a book and have it published、mm-hmm. when you're a teenager、mm-hmm. is something that makes you feel like yes, I can do this,、mm-hmm. and then、sure. <laughs> you you move on and you take that confidence and the skills and the experience into you know a more professional field、mm-hmm. or writing up at the next level. Sure, because maybe they're not writing a bestseller. At this age, but they might in thirty years with this foundation. Absolutely,、yeah. absolutely, and、uh, so I do have on my shelf,、uh, I think at least five、mm-hmm. published books written by teenagers、mm-hmm. who grew up doing IEW. Yes, and we're not going to read those books here today. No, no, we <laughs> won't.、Um, but that might make an interesting podcast <laughs> to read those books. snippets of that. <clears throat> sure, I don't know. We have been getting some good response from our lessons 2020. Oh right, yeah.、Um, what, we started this right around I think the the time when schools were beginning to close in March and April,、mm-hmm. saying what can we do to just give some you know give people something totally free、mm-hmm. that isn't just a teaser、mm-hmm. but something substantial, right? That kind of Puts them in touch with the best that we can offer, right? And uh, so that uh, lessons twenty twenty promotion,、mm-hmm. it's been going on what close to maybe five months now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and、uh, we've been getting a lot of people、mm-hmm. very very excited. Just、uh, so everyone knows, can you refresh sure、uh, our listeners as to、uh, what is in each levels、sure. package? And it's it's completely online. Yep. Everything's digital,、yeah. so we did this as Andrew said. We did this in response to COVID and 
full-time schools had to close their doors and send their kids home. And so we wanted to provide a solution for those teachers and for those parents whose kids were now at home. And how do we continue to have a quality education while at home? And here's some writing instruction. And the timing of it was really good for us here at IEW because we had just launched our Structure and Style for Students and had the first three lessons available. So what you get when you go to IEW.com slash Lessons 2020. And Andrew, we're probably going to end this at the end of 2020. You know, it, so this, if you're listening to this in 2021, it's probably the link might be down by now. But in 2020, what you get is, and you can have all of it. You have the first three lessons for level A, which is elementary, level B, which is middle school, level C, which is high school. That includes their writing instruction, a literature suggestion, so there's a book that they can check out from the library or order from Amazon. And then what we've also included is the first three weeks of our Fix-It Grammar program at four different levels. So we've got the Nose Tree, we've got the Frog Prince, we've got Little Mermaid, we've got Robin Hood. So those, that wasn't in, in order, but, and then, but wait, there's more. Then we included the first level of our poetry memorization course. So truly, this is a Complete language arts. If you did this for three weeks, you would definitely, first of all, have a really robust language arts experience with our materials, and two, just be able to have a sample of what we actually do here at IEW. So super excited about what's happening with the Lessons 2020. So we got some responses from people who were grateful for that help that we gave them. Yeah, comments like, I'm so impressed with the quality of everything that I've received, so excited to begin my son just finished the lessons, is really thriving with them. Mm. I don't have any questions, and I'm eagerly awaiting the shipment of the program to continue. Oh. That's nice when people say, I don't have any questions. Like, it was perfectly clear. Mm -hmm. Good, yep. I am a big fan now and have purchased the course material through a distributor in Alberta, Canada, and mm. I love it. We're on week seven, and already the improvement in my son's writing and written output is astounding. And that's just a small a small sampling. The other thing that uh, we might mention to people was our all-day event in June, mm -hmm. I Imitation to Innovation. Right. And um, we had, uh, I don't know, at one point, several thousand yes. people tuning in from all over the world. Yes. Um, we had people texting and emailing and chatting from places like Oman and Afghanistan and Pakistan and South Africa. And These were people who stayed up really, really late or got up really, really early <laughs> yeah, to be there. The time difference. And uh, I, I remember one comment in particular, and I don't know if it was an international or domestic mm -hmm. person, but she, she, you know, basically said, and I, I guess I should mention we did something that we had never done before. <laughs> that you said you would never do. <laughs> yes, never say never, which is live stream mm -hmm. a student class. Yeah. So even though middle of COVID, we did have kids in the room, mm -hmm. a dozen of them, mm -hmm. kept them not too close to each other. And I taught a, about a two-hour mm -hmm. class, just the way I would, mm -hmm. you know, any group of kids anywhere I would go. Mm -hmm. um, but there were many hundreds, if not thousands, of children uh, watching that. And this yeah. was a grade three to five group. So it was just mm -hmm. a beginning elementary class. But one lady wrote in and uh, she wrote about how her daughter was just so captivated. And she had never seen her be so interested in anything like that mm -hmm. ever before. And of course, I'm always worried about, you know, the quality of the experience. Yep, you know, yep. you're, you're not in the room. So Will it come through okay? And, yep. you know, but. Uh, yeah, we didn't have any crazy music or special effects, or it was just camera on you. Yeah. And you teaching. And yet yeah, that was captivating. So it's, people can still watch that, can they not? Yes. Yes. And, and they would, where would they go to find uh, that? Very, very long, yes. all-day <laughs> seminar that we did. So there's a couple places I can send them, and we'll put this link in the show notes. One is IEW.com slash conference hyphen tools, and there's a link to that eight-hour YouTube channel link. Or you could go to our YouTube channel, which is IEW TV. So just do a search there, and you'll see that eight-hour long conference that 
we have up to this point over 10,000 people have watched that. <laughs> well, you don't have to watch all eight hours. No. Either. You can, you know, <laughs> kind of click through to different yeah. places. But uh, lots of great comments all day long through watching that and, you know, it's getting some great feedback on that. Yeah. So, so I have another little ditty that someone wrote into us. A ditty? A ditty. A ditty sounds like it's a poem or a song. I know, or it's true. And I'm not going to sing it and I'm not going to make it a poem. It's oh, actually okay. just a little it's note. Just a note. Okay. Yes. This is someone who got, who had gone through our accreditation program. And IEW has an accreditation program where if you go through the teaching, writing, structure, and style, complete all the assignments, submit them to us with a registration fee, we will evaluate it and give you the feedback that you need to be able to achieve IEW accreditation. And so this is one that an accredited instructor sent to us, Melinda, from North Carolina. She said, I have taken extreme delight in the accreditation process and the satisfaction of a job well done, a virtue I hope to pass along to my students. My goal for the summer is to soak up as much knowledge as I can for Mr. Poudoua and this program, offering so much more than the skill of being able to write a paper. This program presents the ability to think, something this world desperately needs. Thank you for this opportunity for accreditation, as it is genuinely appreciated. You know, I, I can't help but notice, and you probably did too, she definitely has her L.Y., techniques in there. She's got a www.asia clause in there. So it's, it's funny. Some people will write to me, mm -hmm. you know, an email or something, mm -hmm. and they'll maybe start out and say, it makes me nervous writing to you. It's because we are the Institute for Excellence right. in Writing. And, and I usually write back and say, well, don't worry. It makes me nervous being me <laughs> exactly. having to sign all my emails, you know, excellence in writing. Yeah, and, exactly. <laughs> uh, but there's a certain level of forgiveness. But it is interesting mm -hmm. how even the adults, once mm -hmm. they get the tools, the stylistic techniques, uh, they are almost like toys to yep. play with, yep. and and they experiment and want to kind of you know share their joy with us. Yep, I I I got it. Yep, I did it. Good. And you know it, when we did the the kind of redo of our logo, mm -hmm. how long ago was that? Five, a little over five years. Five ago. years. Mm -hmm. And we were putting that tagline mm -hmm. on because I'd been doing the talks on the four language arts, right, and. This whole idea of listen, speak, read, write mm -hmm. was just – it was like how much clearer could we be right. about what we're doing? Mm -hmm. And with an with Institute for Excellence in Writing, you know, sometimes people are confused. They think, well, is that handwriting? Right. Is that what they do? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's so much more. Mm -hmm. And we put that on listen, uh, speak, read, write, think. And that think was the natural extension Right. So when when students and, and even adults feel like they're growing in their listening and speaking and reading and writing ability, then the natural consequence is they feel, I can think better right. as a result of this. Yep. And I, I'm reminded of that quote by Francis Bacon, who said, reading maketh the full man, speaking maketh the ready man, and writing maketh the exact man man. Mm -hmm. And isn't, aren't, aren't those really qualities of excellence, mm -hmm. full, ready, and exact? Yep. I'm not sure I got those in the precise <laughs> order of the original <laughs> quote from Francis Bacon. But um, certainly, you know, that's what we're striving to do. Mm -hmm. And when we get the feedback, mm -hmm. yes, you know, okay, yep. we're, we're, it's working here. Yep. Do you have another little story to read from our mailbag? Well, you know, one of the things that we pride ourselves on here is the effort to give the absolute best possible service yes. to everyone. And and whatever that means, whether that's one of our online teachers teaching mm -hmm. an online class, serving those families, yes, whether it's... Uh, what we send to people mm -hmm. and and trying to be sure that they will know exactly how to use yep. what we send them. Thinking of your uh, unboxing videos that you did recently. Yes. Uh, and in particular, when people call us mm -hmm. uh, and, and the training that we put in to helping our customer service team just be as absolutely 
effective, efficient, and joyful yes. as possible. And we get a lot, a lot. But um, I, lo- I love this one. This was from a school teacher okay. uh, who's kind of checking out IW. Mm-hmm. And she wrote, uh, wow, thanks for all the information and resources. I don't think I have ever been helped by a company so thoroughly and in a way that makes me excited to have what they offer. Well, and do you know why we do that, Andrew? Because we don't want to withhold help, right. just like your four deadly errors. That's exactly. right. So our customers are receiving as much help as they need. And, you know, it looks like she's still checking it out. Mm-hmm. So she's speaking from a point of sure. initial contact rather than mm-hmm. years of experience. Mm-hmm. She continues, it seems like your model really invests in developing the teachers mm-hmm. so that they are able to deliver your material successfully. I really like that. Yeah, and we do too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's really what we're what we're all about. And uh, I'm so pleased when people perceive that mm-hmm. from an initial from an initial contact, and then of course we have to live up to that promise. Yes, uh, this this little comment that I have from Kristen is both praise and a suggestion. Okay. All right, so here you go, boss. Ready? We are in love with the student structure and style. So that's our structure and style for students program. I was wondering if you might offer a similar product for the Fix It Grammar series. <laughs> <laughs> so they want us to create a video course for Fix It Grammar. Mm. <laughs> she says, I homeschool six children, so any extra help is highly appreciated. We love IEW products and hope to see more like products. Well, um, just referring back to mm-hmm. our um, all-day seminar, mm-hmm. I did actually do just mm-hmm. kind of a for fun, mm-hmm. first fix-it lesson with a group of middle school well, kids. Well, you actually did the whole week. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so mm-hmm. the first week. Um, and, and, you know, it was definitely simple yep. for most of them. Yep. But always better to err on the side of simple and then right. move on from there. But uh, in retrospect, I felt as though I had padded that thing with too many jokes. <laughs> Never um, can have too many jokes. <laughs> so if Well, um, okay, we have one down. And there are only 31 more to go for Robin Hood, and then yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that. But uh, I think we have other I We do have other fish projects to fry to work a, on, yeah. a little sooner. All right, I have one more, and then we are out of time, although I have a few more I could share. I'll just end with this one. And this is from Jamie, and she's in the Smoky Mountains. She actually says, good morning from the Smoky Mountains. I just wanted to let you all know <laughs> nice. how thankful I am for IEW. I tell everyone about your fabulous cur- curriculum. I want to share out some exciting news with you. My oldest, Wyatt, is 17 and has passed the English Composition CLEP exam recently. This earned him six college credits. He also has a high score on the writing portion of the SAT a couple years ago and has been accepted to a couple of universities. He completed levels A and B and half of level C and participated in the high school essay intensive. We are very thankful for your part in his success. Wonderful. I love stories like that. I do too. Success in college. It's not just for elementary kids. And, and we should finish up with a, a, just a tiny little grammar and usage lesson for people who don't know this. <gasps> okay. What now is, that we're also in the South. What is the plural of y'all? All y'all. Yeah. There so you go. there's there's y'all, <laughs> and then there's y'all over here, and then there's all y'all. All y'all. That was one of the first things I learned upon moving to Oklahoma <laughs> 10 years ago. I will not forget the first time I heard you say y'all from, from, a, from a lector, and I thought, oh my, he is definitely from yeah, Oklahoma it now. It happens. <laughs> Well, Andrew, this has been a delight, and thank you, and thank you all, y'all, for listening in to all that we've got going here. Thanks so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode and want to hear more, you can subscribe to this podcast in iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher, or just visit us each week at IEW.com slash podcast. Until then, on behalf of Andrew Pudua and the team at IEW, I thank you for allowing us to partner with you on your journey toward better listening, speaking, reading, writing, and thinking.